was that it wasn't ready yet. Uh, wait till the next version. Um, interestingly enough, uh, that version is supposed to, I believe that is supposed to be released here at uh, EMC World. When was this report? When did this come in? About a year ago. And so it was not long, um, eh, maybe a little, maybe six, 17 months ago. It was as we were getting it yeah. in, getting it tested. Well, would and you, Dave, you, you probably had some feedback from the practitioners in your community around yeah. B-Plex not really being ready for prime time. Yeah, as well, uh, we had a, a, a practitioner on last week at, at SAP Sapphire, a VNX customer, not a, not a V-Plex customer, but he said something that I've heard from other V-Plex customers, which is the GUI needs a lot of work. Oh. Um, um, that was the one thing my, my engineers complained about more than anything else. They said, here, look at what I have on SMC. Look at what I have with VPlex. You want me to do, go from here to there? I'm not about ready to give this yeah, up. Yeah, and you're using a command line interface at that point. Yeah. And, and e even the command line interface really wasn't much of a command line interface when compared to the, um, I want to say that my engineers, uh, it's what, Sim... Sim CLI? Yep. So, yeah, yeah, okay. that, 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 that I believe is what the command line interface that they use is. So, but their, their report was that it just wasn't ready. So nonetheless, Secret CTO, you, you've been an observer of this industry again a long time, you've seen EMC. They, they still maintain their top dog status and have and, for a number of years. And, well, to and what do you attribute that? that? And so, and so why, why is that? Well, how is EMC able to consistently year after year maintain top dog status? I think that overall, they have a very wide array of products. And that very wide array of product set meets probably 100% of the customer base out there. Not all of the products do, but each area, ha they have a good segment of products that can address specific needs for each individual uh, industry or uh, scale of business. Secret CTO, my last question for you is, what do vendors do that drives you crazy that you just wish they would stop doing? Uh, I almost want to say, call me on a regular basis, but no. Uh, 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 vendors have a belief that they know what my business is before coming in and talking and sitting down and listening to all the trials and tribulations my engineers are going through. Even sometimes, established vendors that are in your organization struggle with understanding my requirements. Um, and they say, well, we need to gather more requirements from your people. Can you send us this information? Can you send this? I want to say, hey, you're my vendor of choice. If you don't know my business as I know my business, I want to find a new vendor. And I don't care. I, you could put any vendor's name on there. I don't care. But if a vendor doesn't that I'm relying on doesn't know my business, I don't want them in my business. Secret CTO, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Um, we'd love to have you back sometime, you know, and uh, it was fantastic. I thank you very much. Appreciate your perspectives. Okay. The, the ongoing series of the Secret CTO uh, in blog post format of past, now live on theCUBE. Hey, doesn't get any better than that. So uh, thank you very much, Secret CTO, with commentary and perspective, cutting through the noise, unfiltered opinion and analysis, critical analysis in some cases. Uh, and, and complimentary of EMC in, in some ways too. So congratulations for that, uh, appreciate it. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short